When she was in Albert Square, her character lost her virginity to a married man, had her partner cheat on her with her best friend. She then stole her daughter after shooting her partner on his doorstep. So no wonder actress Lucy Benjamin needed a few years off before making her surprise return to EastEnders as Lisa Fowler last week. And for those who've missed it, there have been some dramatic moments between her and Phil Mitchell. We made her. And right now, she, right now she's scared. She's hurting, and we can make this work. For her sake, we have to make this work. Please welcome Lucy Benjamin. <laughs> I did one episode back in 2010. Yeah. Um, but I didn't, I wasn't on the square, I was on location, I didn't yeah, see yeah. it. Yeah, now I'm, you know, back after How did time. they do that? How did they lure you back in? Well, um, it had been mooted before about me going back, and I'd always said if I was going to go back, I wanted it to be for a really good storyline and something to really get my teeth into. And so um, somebody high up in the storyline department phoned me up and said, Here's the story, are you interested? And I thought, mm, That sounds too good an opportunity to miss, really, yeah. and, uh, as an actress and to play. So I said yes, um, and it's been it's been fabulous. Did and you have to sort of think quite long and hard about it? Because obviously it has been a long time, and yeah. you've got like kids now, and you're married, and you've got a much calmer life. So yeah. it's quite a big thing to think about opening up that Pandora's yeah, box again. Yeah, because it was it? kind of crazy times when I when I was there. But um, I think because I was so much more settled now, and the kids are, are get, getting older, and I just thought actually it's nice to go back and do that for me and really show people what you know, how, how great the character was, really. Yeah, so, yeah. So it was, you know, it was quite an easy decision. But it was all a bit of a secret. I mean, you had to keep it secret. It was Didn't they have to smuggle you in and out of Elstree so yeah. other people couldn't but see? Even the cast didn't know you were going Yeah, to no. Um, when the scripts first landed on my door, um, my character was called Sam. So I, I opened up the envelope and looked at the script and I thought, well, I'm not in this. Uh, you know, because was, she was called Sam. And then I thought, oh, actually, that's what we me, I'm talking to Louise here. Um, and then all the cast were getting scripts with, with Sam, the name of Sam in it. And, and they had to relearn it on, after they were learning it and they were calling me Sam in the script. Getting on set then and trying to rename me as Lisa was quite confusing. I remember Tish Dean saying, oh, this is doing my head in because, um, you know, I've, I've learned it as Sam now. But yeah, they, get me, they got me in the car with blacked out windows and... Wow. Um, yeah, the monitors were all on um, in a bank black and sunglasses. All yeah, all that big hats that yeah. said to me. <laughs> did you uh, enjoy that? I, I did. I did really because it kind of made, made it more more of, a, um, of an impact really. And I just yeah, thought they're yeah. going to make this something really special. I so um, feel walking because the last time you and I saw each other, which was like a thousand years thousand ago, years. you were dating Steve. Yeah, you had dinner, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. So yeah. I didn't feel kind of like walking back onto the set when a whole lifetime's gone past. Um, it was it was strange really. It was just like it, it was like being a, a first day on a new job again but within 10 minutes it was like I'd never been away yeah. and it was lovely to be working with Steve and Tish and Natalie Cassidy again it was, it was just being with mates like yeah. old mates that had my back that yeah. you know they're still there they've been doing fabulous work and that I knew that would look after me again yeah. on my return and that's exactly what it was and, like. and when yeah. obviously your the, your characters have such an intense relationship the fact yeah. that that you guys have a history, does that help in a way? Because you know each other inside out. I don't know. I, you talk about having your back as an actress. You you know what a little flicker of an eyebrow means. You uh, Yeah, but I mean, I, to be honest, it was more about the history between Lisa and Phil, and there's so much water under the bridge with those two people. Yeah, yeah. That I just, you just kind of resort back to to those, to those, really, to those storylines, to yeah. things that have got, they've gone through as characters. You didn't have to kind of think about me and Steve in yeah, the old days. Yeah. There was so much stuff between Lisa and Phil. Yeah. It was easy to play. And of course, in the very early days, the, you were on set with the, the doyens. You know, you had Barbara oh, Windsor, yeah. June Brown, Pamela. I mean, Wendy Richards. Yeah. yeah. All of yeah. Wow. I know. I mean, I just remember, you know, my first day in the Vic and having those faces there and just being terrified, but also realizing what a fabulous opportunity it was and to be working with these people and just to learn off yeah. them really, and just go. This is what you do. This is how they do it, and let's just learn and respect. And with an unbelievable audience figures as well. The Who Shot Phillips? Oh. Oh. Twenty-two yeah. million. You, a, you know, told us. Know, and, and isn't it true as well that for that you actually had to learn how to shoot a gun? 
I did. Well, I learned how to shoot a gun. A real gun. Second, yeah, a real gun. The second time round, when Lisa kind of, when she didn't get it right the first time, she didn't kill him. I remember uh, there was a Dirty Den storyline, <laughs> and she thought, right, she's got to finish him this time. And Dirty Den got a gun, and it was a real gun. And we practiced shooting melons as Phil's head in um, <laughs> in a disused, a real gun. A real gun firing blanks that I had to do, aiming at a, melons, a, me a melon, as, as say, Phil's head, in a disused tube station in, um, I think, East Finchley or somewhere like that. Was that um, quite a stress relief? <laughs> I mean, no, it's, it's actually very, it's quite very strange, strange <laughs> feeling to be holding Is a real gun. I don't know if you knew who shot Phil, but they filmed lots of different endings, didn't they? And you didn't well, know which one was going to be shown. I was, to I was told, actually, John York took me up to the office and told me it was going to be me that had shot Phil, but I was to keep it a secret. So, and all the other guys that were playing, that, that, they, um, that they were... Uh, what's it called when they're suspects? Okay? Yeah. So basically, they they weren't told. They were just told that you're all suspects. And so I had to go back down and say, I'm a suspect. A suspect too. Oh, is it you? So I had to go down and carry on lying. Oh, yeah. And they were going, well, if it's none of us, if nobody's been told who is, who is it? Yeah. You know. And I had to keep that secret, which was quite hard lying to your fellow cast members, really. Though. So tell us how you met your lovely husband, Richard. Um, <laughs> since we're talking about engagement, yeah. Um, he's probably going now, oh, don't talk about this again, <laughs> please, bang it on. Um, all right, well, I met him on an aeroplane, we sat next to each other. I was flying um, to see Jim Davidson, who's a friend of mine, and his wife, oh, Michelle. And, um, oh, oh, yes. Won't be happy about that. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, he uh, was travelling with some mates, I was going on my own, and I saw these four boys walking towards me, and I thought, oh, no, please don't sit next to me. And actually, you know, two of them were sat next to me and two of them behind. And Richard sat next to me, and um, well, he just got talking. Just got talking, and well, he basically said to me, there was a bit of silence, and I, he just then said to me, um, it must be very strange for you, because I know all about you, but you know nothing about me. So if you want to find out all about me, feel free to ask. That's a good so line. Thought, oh, yeah. Yeah. Good line. Good line. Really and weren't you engaged and married quite quickly? Oh, yeah, we were engaged within six weeks. Married within nine months. I was seven weeks pregnant at the wedding. <laughs> so, oh okay, yeah, you know, you just got to get on with it. And like, yeah. 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 Just yeah. 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 Wait to Jim yeah. Davidson. Uh, briefly, <laughs> met this really gorgeous fella. Can't see for long. I'm off. How did he propose? Uh, we went back to Dubai, and he uh, he bought a ring and proposed to me on a, one of those fabulous uh, Abra's on the man-made uh, waters at one of those fabulous hotels. Was so. it a surprise? Not really. I think I kind of pointed out nice little rings and the diamond suits. Well, that's a nice ring. That's a nice ring. A bit pushy, but as I say, you've just got to get on with it. Are the kids watching you now in EastEnders? You've got two yeah, girls. Yeah, they? they are. I mean, uh, they hadn't seen much of it before. They know the music. It's so funny. The kids just know the music without even yeah, watching the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. They just they, they sing the theme tune. So they are. Yeah, they've been watching it. Now, I don't think they know the scale of the size of the show really. Um, but I'm sure once they go back to school, they're going to have some yeah. kids. Oh yes, they do. And have you noticed a sort of a a bit of an upping in terms of getting recognised and getting back out on the street. Well, it's funny because it never, it kind of, it never really went away. I'm surprised yeah. after all this time that mm. people do still recognise you. Well, not when 22 million up. people have watched well, you. Can yeah. yeah. you give us a little hint about what's going to happen tonight? Well, I, I can just say to you, there's two episodes tonight. There's not one tomorrow. There's two tonight. Um, and Phil is on the uh, rampage looking for Lisa <gasps> because obviously she's taken Louise from the hospital. Um, which yeah. she thinks is the right thing to do, as silly as it may seem, without all of her medication. But she's, um... Yeah, she's taken Louise to this bolt hole, this hotel, and she wants to make amends and be with her daughter because she thinks that's the right place to be. Well, you said there's two episodes. Two episodes Obviously, it's um, BBC One, 7.30 and 8.30 tonight. Yes. yes. And before we go, I just want to chip in because you're here on a very special day. Yes. Lovely to hear about your proposal. And, of course, Andrea is engaged. So we're going to have a little bit of a party. Yay! Yay! Tomorrow we go from weddings to divorce. Oh.